Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Today we're going to have a look at how Megan's getting on with the feedback she's got from her interview and her podcast. She's just released a podcast with Mariah Carey and she's got an interview in a magazine from the States. So we're going to have a little look and see how she's getting on with the feedback because the feedback hasn't been grand, let's face it. Let's see how she's doing. So I'm using the Barbara Walker deck and I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for her. This one wants to come out okay. The Pope, okay. So she's getting a lot of feedback and she's a bit concerned about the royal family. So I wonder if these have actually came out and said something to her now or maybe asking her to um, just, you know, pipe it down a bit, love. So the with this is the hierophant card in traditional tarot it's called the pope in this tarot and it's there it's um institutions education and learning she's certainly going to be learning from this experience and five's often a little bit of a kind of uppy downy troublesome number as well so she is up against the institutions at the minute she's up against the institutions of the media and we'll see what's crossing there I don't think she believed it would be quite this negative. Let's have a look. What's crossing at the devil? Ooh, is she getting... Ooh. I'm going to pull some of the cards because I want to just... Oh, my goodness. It's all Major Arcana. Arcana. Oh, Seven of Swords. Wow, okay, so she's really kind of misjudged this. Let me just start right. So we've got the seven, we've got the Princess of Swords leaving the situation. Now, Megan is a fire sign, she is a Leo. This is Princess of Swords, Princess of Wands. This individual is quite a fiery, go getting, immature, rash, and when they're negative, um, they're very kind of opinionated and. There are positives with divas and there are negatives with divas. And that's this diva kind of behaviour coming in here. Her strength, which she likes to draw on, <laughs> is her relationship with Harry and the roots within that. And she's feeling like she has kind of lost her way. It's like they can't unsee it. Very much like this card. You see, when you look at it straight away, you see a mermaid. Yeah, but when you stare at that little bit longer, you can see a face where her her um, nips should be and a mouth. Can you see that? So once you've seen through and past the past the um, the glamour, you come across what's restricting her. She has. I wouldn't be surprised if she's had a kind she's had some kind of legal challenge or something maybe from the from the royal family. She's not feeling it. She thought she could go straight in there and her and Harry be above everything and this isn't this isn't um this isn't working the way she wanted it to. And of course you've got the devil there crossing over. Now the devil can be ego in it the devil is actually in reverse here so it's breaking away the chains of ego breaking away the chains of um of negative that has negativity that is on her but she's she is getting opposed and if she keeps going the track she's going on she's going to get end up humiliating herself publicly and she's taking herself very seriously to the point where she has no sense of humour about it. We have here the Seven of Swords above her, which is opposition, and it's also trickery and thievery in the... So people can see, the vast majority of the world can see that she's changing things around and everybody's saying that word salad, she's not saying things that are true she's contradicting herself from other interviews 
and she's coming across as a little bit false so that is coming across in the cards but with the devil crossing her over over the hierarchy she's really at conflict and she's really feeling like she's being gagged she's not necessarily getting her way here and she's really really kind of reeling from it okay so let's have a look and see what else we can pick up on her for you let's she really hasn't made friends in high places here guys really hasn't made friends in high places in fact she's made so what's on her mind ace of cups she really wanted to look like she had it all very much kind of like um a serene beige no effort natural but glamorous kind of vibe that she wants to project but it's actually inverted here so serenity that and the vibe she's going for is kind of forced and false with the ace of cups here we have the princess of pentacles oh my goodness so what's surrounding her she's getting some really immature advice she's getting some bad advice nobody is telling her what she, she nobody is telling her what she needs rather than what she wants to hear and i don't think that judging by everything else that's going around her, that she's very stubborn and the people around her have to tell her what she wants and will tell her what she wants so they can gain they're also quite immature about how to handle things then you've got the world upside down as a potential outcome this is not the attention you ordered. It's definitely not the attention you ordered. Okay. She's really reeling from this situation. She's not happy at all. She feels very constricted. Very roped in. There is no kind of way out for her she feels at the moment but the th problem is she's surrounding herself by yes people and the yes people are only there because of her status and money and they don't really which is they don't really care about her and she's trying to come across as wholesome but she's trying to come across as a brand and the dark arts of marketing and <laughs> It's kind of very difficult to create a Princess Diana brand, which is what she wants, when you don't... If you tell people often enough that you are Princess Diana, I don't th even then I don't think they're going to believe you. Pet. Wow. I mean, it's quite embarrassing, let's face it. <laughs> yeah. I want to know a little bit more about this devil card. Can you show me a little bit more about the devil card? The emperor in reverse. Ooh. The fool in reverse. <laughs> oh, God. Four of Swords, Seclusion. Wow. Not only has she just burnt a load of bridges, she's blown them up. She's blown up several bridges. She's taken out loads of stuff. The Emperor in reverse. Daddy issues. I don't think Prince Charles is very happy. 
I don't think, uh, to be honest, her de her the her relationship with her father is kaput anyway. But she's made a make she's made a mistake. She's tripped up here, guys, and she's feeling isolated. And what she thought was going to be a massive celebration with the Three of Cups here, so she is going to get some good news out of this eventually. But what she thought was going to be a massive celebration has actually turned into a hitting the fan fest she really has damaged a lot of relationships here um more than more than before this woman is now beyond redemption i don't often <laughs> wow okay so i want to look at prince harry and see how he's dealing with the feedback from this because when you're getting trolled by Nelson Mandela's grandson I mean come on let's have a look Harry He's feeling very stressed about this situation. He's feeling very stressed about the media. He's got regrets. And it's probably causing quite a bit of tension in the romance life, I would have imagined. He's not feeling too happy about the sudden course, change of course. Okay. He's worried about the Queen got the magician underneath he think he feels like he might feel like it but what's driving it is bad advice like i mentioned before they're surrounded by people and there's a certain thing that's connected with harry that has given them bad advice that's interesting ace of swords doom <laughs> these cards are so cheerful ace of swords doom he thought it was worth a go. He thought it was worth a bet to do all of this. And the thing is, when they're starting off new projects, they go at it in such a kind of way. It's like they don't, their energy's off, right? So they don't come from a place of, I want to help. They come from a place of, I want to help, but I also want to set this right about me. It's all ego driven. It's just like I need to correct you about my behaviour. Because you're not listening to anything I'm saying. Mm. King of Cups. Prince Charles isn't happy. Prince William isn't happy. Because it's in reverse. Okay. Let's have a look. Princess of Swords, Hot Headed Advisories, The Sun, Children. Duh, duh, duh. Let's have a look. Let me tell you what's two of wands. Okay. So, what we've got here is again what is surrounding him, and this is him concerned about Megan. So, Megan is lashing out um, and she's quite angry and distraught. And she's probably throwing some um, uh, threatening lawsuits and defamation, things like that around. What's he's concerned about? He's worried about the children. He's concerned about the children around um, at the moment. I'm not saying Megan's doing anything to the children. I'm just saying that's where Harry's head's at. He's worried about the kids. Um, eight of Wands. He is worried about getting beaten down and a fall from grace. And what's the problem here for Harry is that when I'm doing readings on the royal family, um, the King of Cups is often Prince Charles because he's a water sign, he's Scorpio, so is William, he's Cancer. But the the Queen shows up as a the emp well the uh, high priestess which is the papess in this one and this is to me it's like harry's concerned about the queen and there's obviously been some very strong feedback from his family um it's going to be either william or charles who are who are basically done with this um yeah whatever has happened there is a final nail in the coffin for this whole relationship 
and boom this is i think this is the final straw with everything for everyone i don't think anyone or anything will happen quickly while the queen's alive this is just my opinion i don't think anything is going to happen while the queen's alive because i think um they don't want to cause any more stress but i do think there will be movement once once everything once the by the time prince king prince charles is king so that's interesting that's very interesting let me know what you think in down below guys um I love being nosy about the royal family, but I can also do other readings if you would like me to. And and let me know. I've got a little poll up to say like when, what time you want me to live stream. If you want to go and have a look at that. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell and leave me a comment and give me a like, please. Thank you all for your support and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.